If you read in the Bible, in the book of Philippians chapter 3 verses 13, it reads here, Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. You know, many a times we find ourselves stuck between the regrets of our past and the dread of the future. You know, we all have a past and we have done so many failures and mistakes in our past. You know, maybe you're regretting the person that you got married to or you have done a financial investment and it was a wrong decision and all the money is lost and all that is playing in your mind is regret. You know, if I had not done this, if I had done that, so many things would have happened. But do you know something? We can do nothing about our past. We cannot go back to our past and make the changes. But one thing that we can do is forget about it. That's what Paul is saying here. Forget what lies behind. You know, maybe you have done mistake, but that's okay. Ask forgiveness and move ahead. And secondly, we get stuck is when we dread about the future. You know, when we are overly concerned, worrying about the future, there is so much of fear about the future. We are wondering, what if I do this? What if I do that? You know, how will my children be brought up in this wicked generation. Sometimes we overly think and there is so much of fear. But you know what Paul is suggesting? He's saying straining towards the future. You now one thing I want to tell you that nothing comes easily in life. Not everything will just easily fall in your lap. There is some kind of pressing that we need to do. There is some kind of straining. You know Paul is using the word straining that means it requires some kind of determination some kind of effort you know when you find problems coming your way that easy thing that we can do is quit is to give up but there are certain things that sometimes we need to is press on we have to strain we have to move ahead even when we don't feel like when God is on our side and if he is leading us we need to move ahead and know for one thing for sure that God is on our side he will take care of us. Maybe you're worried about the future. With you're fearful about the future. Know that God is on your side. Keep trusting in him and he will make a way. You know, I want to encourage all the viewers. Maybe you are stuck in the past or maybe you're overly thinking about your future. I want to tell you, forget about the past. You can do nothing about it. And look forward about your future, knowing that God has a greater and a better plan for you. And keep trusting in Him. Amen. God bless you.